In this video, we're gonna be making polls. Yeah, Discord still doesn't have the polling interface that other platforms like Twitter and Telegram have. So we have to do away with reaction emojis. Lame. There are several ways to make a poll. Actually, just, just two ways. Using a bot or just manually doing it yourself. No matter what bot you use, at the end of the day, they're all just gonna list a question and add emojis below it. Because it's just not in the Discord platform to do these. So if you just wanna be practical and make a simple poll, let's use simple poll bot. Simple poll. <laughs> I'm gonna name my channel Simple Poll. All right, so just Google the Simple Poll bot, invite the poor guy over to your server, and there's no setup needed. Whenever you need to make a poll, just type in forward slash poll and everything else between quotes. The bot is going to take the first quotes as the question and the others as the options. You can go up to 10 options per poll. So forward slash poll, quotes, what's the meaning of life? This is a simulation. Welcome to the matrix, use all of the above, and enter. Nice. There's your simple poll. But wait, that was too quick. What if you can make your server make the poll? Hmm? All right, I'm gonna teach you, but you owe me. We need to create first a webhook. Go on server settings, webhook, and create webhook. Here, you will name it the same as your server. Select the channel where you want the poll to be posted. Upload your server's profile picture, click the copy button on the webhook URL, and hit save. With the webhook created and the URL copied in your clipboard, let's go over to this website. It's called discohook.org. When you come in, all of this will look overwhelming, but don't worry. We're just sending an embedded message through a webhook to your Discord server. Check this out. I'm just going to paste the webhook URL and click send. Let's go back to Discord and see what we got. You see? It's just a crazy explainer text, but the important thing is that it came up with your server's name and PFP. Now, we can go back to this go hook and edit it. You can read the text for more insight on how to edit this text better, but right now, I'm going to click on clear all and get rid of all this. Click on add embed. <laughs> embed? <laughs> that gets me every time. I definitely need to grow up. Just click on add embed and start editing according to what you want to do. I'm just gonna make a quick favorite meal poll. Now with the poll created, you can change the color of the embed to match your server. And once we're done, just click send. Now we go back to Discord and let's see our message over there. You will have the poll posted and now you just need to add the emojis you want the people to react on for our poll. There you go, there's your cute ass poll, man. Now there's always someone that's gonna be a bit of a clown and will be adding extra emojis to your poll and completely ruin it. So to prevent that, let's make some changes in the channel. So let's go to edit this channel's permissions. And on everyone, first turn off send messages, right? And then scroll down and turn off add reactions. This will make sure that people are only able to react on the emojis that you added to the poll and not the funny stuff. And that's it. There you go. Cute as Paul. Before we move on to the next module, please hit the subscribe button and help me out. This concludes the polls module in this course. If you have any suggestions that might help others, feel free to leave them in the comments below and stick around for the next video in this course, which will show up on your screen right about now.